and welcome. So today I am gonna be sharing with you how to create a gingerbread gift tag along with a little box to hold your gift tag. So it's gonna be like a little gift tag, tag set. Um, it's super cute. We are featuring a Scrap Diva Designs gingerbread girl um, die set. She is super cute. So these are the pieces that it comes with. You've got your little bow, you've got your base piece, two layering pieces which i did not take apart i just left like that because i didn't want to have to worry about aligning them so i just cut out my pieces like that and then these pieces right here which um you use to create the face the eyes the um eyebrows the nose the cheeks the mouth all of that so um, I will make sure to have every single die listed in the description box of this video that I use because they are so super cute. I also will make sure to include my discount code for ScrapDivaDesigns.com. If you decide to pick up any of these dies, make sure to take advantage of that gift, um, of that discount code. And I just wanted to mention a few things. Um, I used some uh, crystal embellishments from my buttons galore and more sub box I also have a discount code for that you guys and so the next the second one will be coming out really soon they just recently started the sub box it's amazing the price of the box is amazing so make sure you check it out as well um, and I did you know use a lot of buttons galore and more pieces um, on my little cookies on my little gingerbread tag cookies this is the inside it says baking sweet memories i still have glue on my hands um but i think it is so adorable so you can fit four comfortably in in this box and this box measures four by four um so it's really super cute i didn't mat any of the back i just matted the front piece um this is the little belly band that i created for it I am going to have a part two to this um, to show you how to make the box. In this video right here, I'm going to share with you how I created these um, little baking tags. It says baking sweet memories. All of them are the same. Um, so yeah, let's get right to the tutorial. I also want to mention that with these little um, clay bits that I used from Buttons Galore and more, I um, used Wink of Stella and it turned them white and I didn't like how it looked. I guess I used too much of this. I don't really know what happened or maybe this is old. I'm not sure. Um, and so I just added some glossy accents to the little sprinkle bits. Um, and so it worked out fine for me. I, I like how it gave it a little shine. So I did want to mention that. I also wanted to mention that my discount code for buttons galore and more can only be used on the subscription box. So keep that in mind. My um, discount code for buttons galore and more can only be used for the subscription box. So I hope all of that is helpful for you. Let's get straight to the tutorial. So for the base of the card, I'm using this craft paper that I picked up at Michael's it's your standard um, letter size paper. I'm gonna cut this down to three and a half by 11. Just make sure it's right at that mark. So three and a half by 11. Um, and then on this 11 inch side, I'm gonna cut this down to seven. So um, it'll, we'll end up with a piece that measures three and a half by seven. And then we'll also be using this piece right here to create our base. So I'm just going to fold my paper, line it up as best I can, fold it in half. And of course you can measure this, you know, do your score mark at the, what is it? Three and a half inch mark. I just like to line it up. Um, okay, so this is gonna be the base. And I'm gonna add another piece to the front of the base of my card just to make it a little more durable since you will be opening it. You wanna give it a sturdy feel. So I'm going to take my gingerbread face pieces and I'm gonna use this outer piece right here to create my card. So 
I've folded this in half, I'm gonna place my circle on my card and I'm gonna make sure that just a little bit of it is peeping through and that's going to create the little flap on my card that's gonna hold my two sides together. So see how this one opens up just like that? I want that little piece so that it can open up. Um, and so that's the reasoning behind leaving the piece of the die over the paper. So I'm gonna run this through my die cutting machine and I will show you what we have left. Okay, so I ran this through my die cutting machine. This is what our cut is going to look like. And this is what that does. It just creates that little edge right there that'll allow you to open and close your tag. And then I'll run this through one more time so that we can have the second layer that we need for the little gingerbread face. So I've run all my pieces through the die cutting machine and I have everything I need. So I used this to create my base and to create the the top layer, which will be the face of my little gingerbread girl. I use this to cut out the base of my top layer and the inside of my card. So that will be this right here and the inside also. And what else? And then it comes with this little bow. I've cut that out also and it comes with these pieces right here which uh, form the face. So I have my little base card. I'm gonna create my face really quickly. And so for the face I used, this is what this piece right here, this is what it's gonna cut out like. You're gonna have this outside piece. I didn't uh, disassemble my dies they come like this together for packaging purposes and I just didn't disassemble them. I left them, these are two separate pieces, but I left them as is just because it's gonna make it easier to align later. Um, you know, I don't have to worry about aligning it just right. It's, it's already aligned for me. So I'm gonna use the pink center of this die cut as my base piece for the face. And I'm gonna use the white as the outline. So I cut this out twice. I cut it out of pink cardstock and white cardstock. And you know, we're still gonna use all of these pieces because we'll use these on the inside of our card. So I'm just gonna adhere that to my card right here. And then we will put the face together. So I've added those two pieces to the base of my face. This is the card. Make sure you add it onto the right piece and then this is gonna layer on top of your card. So make sure not to add it to that one. And then we're just gonna glue on the little mouth piece. These are all the pieces that create the face right here. You get all of these pieces, which is the mouth, the eyes, the cheeks, um, the nose, the eyelashes. And so I'm just gonna use some of these pieces I'm gonna add some glue to the mouthpiece and add that to my cookie, <laughs> to my makeshift cookie. I'm gonna add this little cheek, it's a little swirl piece, and you can um, layer these, of course. I'm just using the little swirl, swirl piece. I'm not using the layering piece. And I just place that right at the tip of that smile. I'm gonna do the same to this one, just to add my glue. And then these are the little eyelashes. And you can place these as close together or as far apart as you want. Um, I like to place them kind of low and above the cheek. So I think about right there. 
should be good. We'll grab this one. We'll do the same. And I'm not sure if I showed you this, but this is what that little eyelash looks like right there. Let me grab this from the other side because I want to make sure to place it <laughs> where I can see. That should work for me. And then this little bow right here, I cut it out twice because I want to be able to give it some dimension and just kind of like fold that paper upward just gently, um, not too much. And I like this on the side. I don't have to add too much glue because I'm going to be adding an eyelet to this. So, um, you know, I don't have to add too much glue. I do want to see what this is going to look like. I think at this point we can, let me just add the bow. I'm going to add it right here, which is where my little hanging element is going to go. So I'll just add that kind of to the side. And then now I'm going to add that this face that we've created. I'm going to add to the front of my card. Just add a bead of glue. Make sure to line that up correctly. And there you have it. We are on our way to our little tag, to completing our little tag. This just came out so cute, you guys. So the final thing to do is going to be to add our final pieces, which is the inside part of our tag. And that is going to be this little white piece and this little frosting deep, uh, piece. So these will go on the inside and then we can just stamp it with our little sentiment. So let me add those in fairly quickly. So we have our little face. I added some of these little sprinklets from Buttons Galore and more. And so it's just some little peppermints and sprinkles to the face of my cookie. I have the base inside. It says Baking Sweet Memories. It's super adorable. This stamp set um, comes in a die set as well. And um, I think I'll go over that at the beginning of the video. <laughs> I'll um, do that separately. So now all we need to do is add our eyelet. I'm gonna grab my hole puncher and try to go in and do that. So I'm just gonna center it right on the center of my bow and add our little eyelet for our hanging element. So I've added my eyelet right here and I'm going to string my twine through here and that will be our little hanging element. just tug on that a little bit. It just knocked off my little sprinkle. Let me add some more glue so I can fix that. Okay, so our tag is completed, you guys. We have the little gingerbread face with some sprinkles, our eyelet, our hanging element, our sentiment on the inside of our tag and we are ready to create the little box that we will use to gift all of these tags. I think I'm gonna do a part two um, so that the video isn't too long and you can you know, use this one to see how to create this little tag and then you can use the second one to create um, the little box 
to house the tags. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out part two um, and let me know if you have any questions in the comment area. Tell me what your favorite part of this is. Um, don't forget to use my code if you decide to pick up this die. It is Patty10 and I will have it in the description of this video as well. And I will talk to you in part two.